Ding! I need to clean this tank. But that's not what this video is about. Ninjas, what we got right here is me cleaning a tank, but I'm gonna take advantage of this video and not talk about the tank being clean, but I'm gonna share something with you guys. I got an announcement to share with all you amazing people in the YouTube universe. As you guys know, if you follow the channel or as you can see if you're new to this channel, the tank has crashed. But there's a silver lining in every what in how's the saying go uh there's a silver leave a comment below let me know how that goes it's something positive but it's time for a new beginning i'm gonna take advantage of this tank crashing and do something sexy something sexy to this sexy ass tank inside the house this used to be a tanganyika community tank now obviously it's not that anymore but if you look at the videos, you can see the live rock, you can see the live sand, everything I dried out. And I'm, I used to have a reef. That's just what it was. Now, I think it's time to go back. Back in time. Time to go back in time. And start my reef experience again. This 90 gallon sexiness is going to be made into a reef tank. That's right, guys. Don't think that we're not going to have fresh water. That 240 is going to be a fresh water tank. I'm just going to be clear. This costs too much money to make a 240-gallon a reef tank. It's, it's just ridiculous. So right now, we're going to settle for the 90. The 90 is going to become a reef tank, and we're going to take our time. I'm going to start a new series called Easy Reefing. Now, I'm going to go step by step on how I set up my reef tank. But I'm going to dumb it down a little bit because people like to intimidate other people and make it sound like everything is so difficult so make it look more elitist. And that is not something I want to do. I want to encourage people to try new things. I want to encourage you to try this reef keeping part of the hobby because it's a blast. It's gorgeous and it's not as hard as people think. The biggest problem is patience. So as long as you're patient, we can do something amazing, something truly amazing. Now, that is what I wanted to tell you guys. We're going to have a 90-gallon reef tank build. And I'm going to start a new series called Easy Reefing. I'm going to dumb everything down, give everything to you in layman's terms, and just let you know what you should do or what I plan on doing and why I plan on doing it without making it sound just so complicated. Guys, this beauty has been waiting for months to get put together. And I hope you guys are as excited and amped about this as I am. So hit that like button if you are. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you caught the hint for the name of this tank. And to the first person to figure it out is going to get a special little credit in the upcoming video. Make sure to check out the Facebook page and subscribe. I got videos coming you two times a week. I'm talking about every Sunday and every Wednesday. On top of that, check out the Fish Tank Hooligans. And don't forget to do amazing things like push your limits and try something new. Until next time, guys, tank like a boss or reef like a boss or planet tank like a boss because you're a boss.